The Hebrew word duget describes a small fishing boat, such as the type that would have been used in the first century by Peter and Andrew and James and John. But much like those biblical disciples, Pastor Avi Mizraki is the founding pastor of Adonai Roy Congregation and Duget Outreach Ministries. He also is called by God to be a fisher of men, leading a ministry in the land of Israel and beyond doing just that. And as we anticipate this coming Sunday as a big event here in the United States to stand for, pray for Israel. Uh, Pastor Mizraki, I'm so honored, is joining me now from Israel to talk about the situation on the ground uh, from the perspective of the church and the body of Christ there in Israel and how Christians here in the United States and around the world can support the people of Israel, both Jews and Christians. Pastor Mizraki, thank you so much for joining us. Welcome to Washington Watch. Thank you and shalom from Tel Aviv, Israel. Well, it is our honor to have you. Why don't we start by sharing the story of your ministry so that our viewers and listeners can have a, a better understanding of what you're doing and frankly, how life has changed for you since October 7th. Oh yes, um, I was born and raised in Israel. I'm a native Israeli. I came to know the Lord 40 years ago in a, in a Baptist church in Florida. And uh, I, then I knew that I want to go home and do one thing, share the good news of Yeshua, of Jesus, and make disciples, because uh, Yeshua is the only hope for Israel and for the whole Middle East. And uh, we have been uh, reaching out. We have been reaching out to Israelis. With people and, um, and then we started a congregation. And uh, I can tell you, uh, the, Jewish, the people in Israel, Jewish and Arab, are very open. And uh, God is working in Israel. We see a wonderful thing. The harvest is ready in the land of Israel today. That's amazing. So I, I want to get to that. I, I think it's important for us to hear how God is at work. But before you talk about that, how... How much has life changed since October 7th for uh, Jewish community as well as Christian community and people all throughout Israel? Yeah. Yeah, October 7th has definitely changed Israel. Israel is not the same. And, uh, you know, many people don't know really what happened, but when you realize that 3,000 terrorists on Saturday morning on October 7th infiltrated into 20 Jewish farms, collective farms, kibbutz, moshav, cities, and slaughtered more than 1,200 civilians, children, rape women, and the atrocities that happened. It really was a wake-up call for us. You know, we, uh, we're in Israel. We, we are, want peace, shalom. We are in a, in a sign, peace agreement with Egypt, with Jordan, with the Amorites, with Morocco. And now we want to do it with Saudi Arabia and also with the Palestinians. But this was a wake-up call because it showed us that this evil, demonic, Islamic jihadist, uh, Hamas, Hezbollah, is, um, Islamic Brotherhood, all this uh, ISIS, all this demonic evil that want to destroy and kill and wipe out Israel from the map, that is supported by Iran, we realized that it's, we have to, we had no choice, but we have to defend our homes. We have to defend our, our families, our country, and we have to fight and go after those terrorists. And this has really brought Absolutely. unity to our country that was very much divided before that. And it's brought unity to us and everybody, it's like a spirit was risen up within our people to stand and fight for our homes, for our lives. And uh, we, the believers, we have very part of that. We have had almost uh, almost a thousand believers in the land that have been called, like my son-in-law. And my, my son-in-law have been called to the reserves and they had to fight. And it's not been easy. Listen, we have been seriously wounded and we are now licking our wounds. wounds. And uh, you have to listen every day, 
we have funerals even today we had more soldiers killed every day we have funerals people are crying and uh, all we need today is uh, to, for people especially for born again christians to pray for us and embrace us and say you are not alone we are with you and this is what we need right now well and and you are getting that regardless of what the mainstream media may be saying christians all throughout the world are praying for israel praying for the peace of israel uh what have you been hearing from those who have reached out to you and i guess more broadly what does the support from the global body of christ mean to israel right now it means so much it means so much for example uh, a couple of months ago when franklin graham came to israel in time of war in fact before him your president biden when he came as the war started and came to israel in time of war and said you are not alone we are standing with you uh, i'm a i'm a zionist and I, we were like wow he stood with us and this meant so much to us and to see christian leaders like franklin graham and others that came and say we are here to support you and especially to the body of believers the body of believers here are, are fighting and uh, also we have a message to give to the secular who don't know who don't know the lord that our hope is in the messiah yeshua jesus our hope is in the lord and this is the time that we need more than ever the the born again christians to stand with the believers in the land and together pray and fight this evil and also reach out to the people with the good news because he's our only hope. Well, I want to again assure you that Christians here in America and all throughout the world are praying for you and for the people of Israel. May the good hand of God rest upon you, my brother. Thank you so much, Pastor Avi Mizraki from Adonai Roy Congregation and Duget Outreach Ministry.